Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to MC Sports. I am your play-by-play -play today, Judge Cantrell. And joining me as my color today is none other than Avi. Avi. There we go. So today's matchup is a soccer is a soccer matchup between the yellow team and the green team here at the YMCA in East Palo Alto, California. Uh, Avi, any pre-thoughts about the game so far and yeah, how I'm it'll go? I'm looking at the warm-up here and I'm seeing two really strong teams. Looks like they're kicking, their shooting is really on point. They've been, been able to de de definitely score against the goalies. Definitely. And who would you say has the advantage here in, um, going into the first the yellow or the green team because we've seen that we've saw them warm up so we know what they can do so but who do you think will have the bigger advantage going in going in early to be completely honest here i think the yellow i saw a little bit more aggression on their side so they think that could definitely help them out definitely and so as both teams get ready we want to remind you that this game is being brought to you by mc sports and sponsored by pachi's pizza and we have a good game coming for coming up as both teams get ready to play. It's soccer here at the YMCA. Avi, you know, I gotta say, both teams, you said that yellow has been more aggressive, so that's a strong suit for them. But when you look at the green side, what do you think is one of their strong, strong suits? What Honestly, do you think I'm is- I'm looking at teamwork right now. You see they're all huddling together, talking to each other, whereas the yellow is a little bit more spread apart. I think green teamwork could also be a huge factor. It's almost a toss up 50 50 to see who's going to pull off the win. Yes, definitely. Both teams, amazing. Um, both teams have quite a lot of speed, but who do you think has the speed advantage here? Because they are pretty quick. So, but it's, you know, speed in soccer, speed is a key factor in Absolutely. everything that you do and footwork as well. So, who do you think has the advantage with speed? In this game. To be honest, I'm not really sure right now. You know, they haven't been really seeing too much speed. I'm excited to see what goes on in the game, though. Most definitely. And to be honest, to be perfectly honest, I think there are, there's some pretty good footwork coming in from the yellow team. Uh, I saw some nice takeaways as they were playing defense with each other. So it should be a really nice game. Yellow's going to start off. So. All right, here we are getting in and. Run away. And already an aggressive start. Yeah. And said. the yellow's going to maintain. That was close there, right there, Avi. The yeah. ball was almost taken away by the green team there. How do you feel about that one? Right out of the bat, the green team comes out strong and aggressive. Um, that definitely uh, takes away my opinion um, about how the green team is not that aggressive. But definitely, I think a huge part was that it was teamwork. They really surrounded the um, yellows as a team and just shut them down. And yeah. they got the ball. So now the green team is gonna have the ball here. And again, as you said, nice teamwork coming from the green team. Um, it's coming into play here, but they'll keep the ball. And But then number 30 for the yellow team is gonna take oh. that. Oh, and man. so this has been a back and forth game, pretty fast, pretty furious already. And that's out of bounds, oh man. And so it'll be yellow team's ball. Uh, that was pretty aggressive, don't you think? Um, yeah, really fast and furious. Your thoughts on that play? There's a lot of close action going on right now. Yeah, and that, was, and that action was close to us, so we really got the feel of how aggressive both teams want to win this game and how aggressive they are yeah. about the game. So it'll be yellow team's ball again. And so as they get ready to kick, the kick is... Far, Man. far and deep, We've and it goes. Of four out of bounds right now already. Yeah, multiple out of bounds scenarios. Um, the majority of them would went to the yellow team, but now it's the green team's turn. So what can they do to make sure that the ball stays with them as the ball is taken? And that's another out of bounds. On honestly, I think def definitely aggressiveness, the teamwork, but also I think mo some of their shots are definitely a little bit off coming in. Like the passing needs some work. And it looks like the oh the green goalie was definitely able to get that. Yeah, that was that was amazing right there. And the the quickness and the speed of the, the green team's goalie as he kicks it out of bounds. So it looks like 
the main factor of work here for both teams is the control of the ball. You know, both teams have amazing footwork, but their control of the ball is really where it's supposed to be. Yeah, and that's where it's right to the green goalie right there. Got to say it's nice. And so now the green goalie is going to set it up. It's been quite impressive, really. We've seen the green goalie just And so now the green goalie is going to try and have to get back. And uh -oh. now to go behind the goal. And so that was a pretty close call there. What do you think um, about the decision the goalie made to bring the ball all the way up to the top? Honestly, that was a really risky decision as we get another out of bounds. But it's a really risky decision because you leave the goal wide open. It was just quite unfortunate that Yellow missed the shot. Yeah, it was quite unfortunate because he could have broke away and got the first goal of the game as as the green team helps out its goalie. And so now they've got the ball. And so now they're going to try and do something with it. And then again, more more takeaways, more turnovers. Every play there is another turnover and another out of bounds. It just keeps repeating and repeating. Absolutely. And do you think like the tempo or the pace of this game will change um, in the later minutes? I think as we start to near the end, actually, things are going to start to slow down. We're going to see a little bit less action coming from everyone towards the end as everyone starts to tire. Absolutely. Oh, this push straight towards the yellow goalie, first time pretty much on their side of the half. It's really just been focused on the green side of the half. Yeah, on the green side and really in the middle, as you would say. You know, so the score is 0-0 in the first half with 16-10 on the clock. And this is the first time we're seeing the yellow goalie. This is the first time he's had the ball all game, and this is, you know, this is... You gotta say that was an accurate shot, though. Yeah, a very accurate shot, right to the green side of the... There's another so turnover. It'll be yellow. So it'll be yellow, green's ball, my mistake. Trying to look for an open man, and he finds one. But yellow will take it right back. And there have been so many turnovers in the early on. Absolutely. And so it's just this pace has been fast. Oh, that's a breakaway right there. Oh, man. And a Not nice bad. block right there. Definitely. And so now the green trying to do something with it. Showing oh, off their footwork. Almost, no, no, definitely. I'd almost base it off yellow's offensive and green's completely defensive, really. But I think that's just because the green, it's pushed on the green side of the field. You very really nice action see it there. right there on the yellow side of the field. And what are your thoughts about number 37? Because, I mean, she's been a really effective part for this yellow team. She's been going after that ball almost all ever since the whistle has been blown and the clock has started. She's been really effective. What do you think about her performance so far? And what do you think it will be like in the upcoming I think minutes? Absolutely. It's really interesting. She's taken in three of their kicks. All have been quite accurate. I'm really excited to see what she can do. And so, you know, she's really been the difference uh, the difference maker for both of these teams, yellow and green. I mean, she's got like three turnovers already, I want to say, uh, if not more. So she's been a really effective part, and I can't wait to see what she'll do in the rest of the game. Uh, uh, now we're just uh, ties of turn now. Uh. What do you think about the comparison in defense? Because, I mean, both teams are really good at defending the – defending their goal and getting and turning the ball over but who do you think has the edge up on defense definitely i think green because green had to adapt to the fact that the ball has been at least more than 50 percent on their side so you know you have to adapt and get better defense whereas the uh, yellows as i said before have been all offense and um and what and i would say that was a just a lucky the block there, the goalie, the green goalie fell down. Now, potentially, he could have, that could have caused a goal, but lucky enough, it hit his foot, causing the ball to go off course. Definitely. I think the green goalie actually does have a little bit of skill here. He's been able to stop several attempts at goals, really making sure that the greens don't go down. Absolutely. And, I mean, you can't compare him that much to the yellow goalie because we haven't seen much of him. It's Like you said, it's mainly been on the green side, the green side of the court. The yellow goalie has been doing some stuff, but we ha we don't have enough to really compare the two goalies and see which one has the better edge. Uh, there's a nice break right there. Oh, man. And I mm -hmm. think if that hadn't gone out of bounds, it would have definitely maybe led to a goal. Definitely. An amazing attempt to stop the ball. And so now a little hesitation from the yellow player. 
And so now Green has got the ball, and what a close call, but the goalie picks it up, and he's gonna take it out, and he's gonna take it out. What a close call there. Absolutely. That was almost go a goal for the Green team. I definitely think that it's getting really close here, you know. The Greens are being a little bit more aggressive. They're holding it to the yellow side of the field. The yes. Sport. Well, with 12 minutes and 32 seconds left, the score is still tied at zero to zero. Who will get the edge as we are coming to the closing minutes with 12 minutes left? And so now the yellow team really gonna have to try and do something here. Almost a goal, but again, the, the green goalie so aggressive. Really able to get that ball, scoop it up, and stop the goal from stop stop the goal from happening. And so that ball's gonna roll out of bounds. And this is probably I want to say maybe the tenth out of bounds we've had, maybe if not 12, more. Definitely. I think mostly it's from a uh, ball bouncing off other people's feet. Definitely. And I said before that the control of both teams they're really gonna have to come into play here. The control of both teams. So it really comes to show like in the closing minutes who will have the better control of the ball oh and there's a small breakaway but i think yeah past the formalities of offense defense shooting passing i really think it comes down to who has better control of the ball who can pass who can pass properly who can shoot properly who can move the ball with ease and i think that's going to come down and that's going to be the winner of the, today's game Definitely. And so now, Yellow is going to break away and he's going to try and do something. That's number nine for the Yellow team. Trying to do something with the ball. Maybe get his team a goal, but it'll go out of bounds. And as you just said, number nine is definitely be a, f uh, a force to be reckoned with in this game. They've been, he's been working really hard and it's been paying off. Very aggressive so far, but, and again, another good stop by Green. That's number 41 for the Green team. He's been helping out his goalie a lot. He knows that his goalie can't handle all the, pre his goalie can't, ha his goalie can only handle so much. So, and eventually, he's going to have to come out and do something. Amazing help and amazing assist there for the goalie by number 41. And there's that um, control we talked about. If Maybe if you just try to get, like, all these really hard shots, if you just got control, then maybe you could take a shot. Definitely. So number five took a hard hit to the shoulder after the kick, after the inbounding kick, but he seems to walk it off. And so now the green team trying to get the ball closer to the goal. Nice footwork there oh. by the yellow team. And now number 39 will go down, and the green team will take possession, and it'll be green's ball. And that was pretty tough to call. Both teams had, uh, they were fighting over that ball towards the end, but in the, towards the end, first out of bounds. It looks and like so number 39 maybe have an injury going on. We're not yeah. really sure right now. So number 39 will. It looks like number come 39 off. is walking off right now. And, and in comes number, number 36. 36. So now, so now number 36 oh. will come in for number 39 off the injury. And that was a pretty close one. Uh, lucky that the ball went off course of the goal, but number 31 was ready and he was prepared to stop that ball. I really think after the injury, Yellow was super motivated to do something. And oh. there's a goal! That is a goal. What a goal. And that is an amazing goal there. Yellow gets injured. Yellow team is super motivated to do something about it, and they do. They score a goal, puts the score up to one. So now Yellow take it again. One to nothing lead here with eight minutes and 50 seconds left. One to nothing lead for Yellow, and we talked about how the control would have come into play and how the teamwork and the effort would do something to would do something that would affect the play as number 11 tries to grab the ball. And so now number 41, being a stickler on the ball, trying to do something. So it'll be out of bounds. It'll be Green's ball. So now Green is going to have to try and do something here. They are down one to nothing, although it may not be a, 
a big lead, they still want to have some momentum and get the ball into the goal to tie this game. Definitely. This game being brought to you by MC Sports and sponsored by Padre's Pizza. What an amazing game we've had so far in these closing, in these minutes. It's just been fast and furious. So many turnovers, so many out of bounds. Both teams really have been fast. Uh, we talked about speed, and we weren't really sure who had the speed advantage. And I think we could equally say that both teams have pretty good amounts of speed. So speed would be a hard thing right to this compare. Could, definitely, we're getting close. Definitely. So oh, it'll be Green's ball as Yellow will knock it out of bounds. It's number 36. And so now number 57 going to tee up the ball. The kick, the no kick. good. And it will again be Green's ball as Yellow kicks it out of bounds. And so now number 57 will be at the corner. And so now it's T and now both teams are gonna huddle up by the yellow side of the goal and it'll be kicked out of bounds yet again by yellow. So I'm pretty it's pretty safe to say that yellow doesn't want to score, so they're probably gonna want to defend as much as they possibly can. You can see them but this a wall here after the corner kick. There's a wall going on, it looks like Definitely at number forty five. A nice a nice kick through the legs there to get the ball to keep the ball on the yellow side. And the ball was finally kicked inbounds and not out of bounds this time. So it'll be yellows yet again. Number 57 with the ball. Teeing it up, setting it up. Just get Everyone, kick. there's kick. And number 30 will defend and now right her now side. So it'll be green's ball, green ball yet again off another out of bounds. And as yellow keeps playing defense now, I think we're seeing more action from the yellow goalie and all the defenders. Yeah, and if green team really wants to get that ball inside, they're really going to have to like talk to each other, find a way to get the ball inside, you know, as you see in other soccer and as you see in other soccer games when you're at what the corner. What an amazing shot that was. Definitely as Green team, it'll be yellow team's ball. But you know, and mainly when you're in the corner, you have your team there to help you out and kick the ball inwards. Maybe Green's got to talk to their players, figure out a strategy to get that ball into the goal. Yeah, that's definitely possible. It looks like once again, they are making just a solid securement. And no balls getting past them. And so now Green will kick it far and deep. And this one, the goalie will pick up. And so now, goalie number 31 for the yellow team. We've seen more of him now in the closing minutes. We saw a lot of gr the green goalie in the beginning minutes, but now as we're getting close, closer to the end here, we're seeing a lot of the yellow goalie. The yellow goalies had to do so much as, you know, they were in the corner a really good amount of time. Absolutely. So now it'll be yellow ball. And then, and again, as you said, building a wall here, and green team is going to try and stop it, and, and they're going to kick the ball. Here. Oh, and it's they're going to go out of bounds. Save it, surprising. but yellow will pick it up, and so now yellow will try to do something, and it looks like, and that was number 45 there trying to do something, trying to get the ball back. No one really there to help him out though. Yeah. And this is what. And this is what one thing that the green team could work on, the teamwork, the helping each other out. This could really um, affect them if they don't work together. They could be looking at potentially another goal for the yellow team. I, I definitely think actually the yellow team's starting to relax a little bit. They see the timers taken down. They're running out of time. They're, definitely. They, they're ahead. I think they're just trying to be a little bit more relaxed here. Yes, but still the green team aggressive. Green team still trying to be aggressive. I mean, they still have a good amount of time to score one goal and tie this game. Absolutely. The kick is again deflected by the yellow team and the yellow team just not letting anything pass through. It's been a really aggressive game, if you will. So many turnovers, so many out of bounds. It's just fast and furious action. 
and the green team's really going to try and have to do something to get that ball in as he's going to try and do something with it. As you can see, number 57 trying to have some control on the ball, but that did not pay off for him at all as the ball will go behind the goal. You know, the green team really going to have to stop those fast breaks for the yellow team when they get away on those fast breaks. You know, the yellow team is just unstoppable, if you will. You know, as they said, they were relaxing, and the, the yellow team was relaxing, so they're not as tired as the green team because the green team is exhausted. They're run, running as fast as they can, as hard as they can, to get that ball into the yellow team's goal. Then That's why the yellow team is so much faster than them because they have been relaxing, unlike the green team. I think that's a nice strategy there to relax and wear out the other team. That way, they won't be they won't be fast enough and they'll be too tired to run after you on fast breaks. So really good strategy there by yeah. the yellow team. Right there, a great save by the green goal. He's stopping another goal because right now, if they don't stop these fast breaks, that will eventually lead to another fast break, a fast break score, and then you'll be in trouble because it's going to be 2-0 with a minute 55 left. Definitely. Score is still one to zero. And so now the green team has got a minute and 45 seconds to do something with the ball. Can they score on this drive as it is deflected? And the green team with yet another save there. And once I said, again, fast break score right there. Lucky once again, but it could completely happen. And there could be a score and this will be two zero and then the green team really might not have a chance. And so now the yellow team will again attempt to kick it. That was number nine, who I believe scored the first goal for the yellow team. But this time it is no good because the green team's goalie will save it. I think really here this relaxing strategy you're talking about is really helping. The green team is falling apart piece by piece. It's fast break after fast break. Green finally is able to get a decent control of the ball. And number 57 misses the kick. And so now number 31 trying to kick it. And remember, number 31 was the previous goalie, but now sitting in. And now, but there's now a new goalie sitting in, sitting in his spot. So now we will see a little bit more action from number 31. Maybe see a different aggressive side from him rather than just being able to pick up the ball and kick it out. Yeah, definitely. So there we go. And you know, number 57 and number 41, and even number 45 even, are really the main, the main three on the green team, really trying to do something with the ball, really trying to get that goal in for the green team so that they can at least tie the game up with just 13 seconds left. I think this one's gonna be in the, the yellow team. At this point, 10 minutes looks definitely like yellow is up by one. They got and five so seconds as the five now. seconds comes down, yellow, the green team will kick it. And, and that, that's the end. That is it. Absolutely. Who do you think is really going to shine here on the green side for the second half of the game? You know, there were a lot of people who um, could have shined in the first half of the green team. You know, for the first half of the green team, number 45, 57, and 41, they were really effective to their teams. They were really effective to their teams. And so now coming into the second half, let's see if any other, anyone else in the green team will be see if anyone else in the green team will be effective. Start. I think everyone's just getting into a position is that the game now. And so now everyone getting into position and I think and I believe it will be Green's ball now starting off at the beginning. Yes. And so 45 and 57 starting off 
As I said, these two have been really important to this green team. But again, yellow getting the turnover and trying to hit the fast break. Hopefully, they'll. Hopefully that halftime gave Green Team enough time to recharge and energize and be healthy for the second half because if they're not and they are tired, it's going to be bad for them in the second half. Absolutely. I think um, it's crazy because Yellow, even regardless if it's on their own side, they're still showing such a... F they're, I think they're back with some... The halftime break may have helped them more than the green team. They're back with some serious fer ferocity here. I think they can actually do something, maybe even score another goal, making it two. Yes, definitely. So now, yellow team will kick the ball, and, right. and it'll be a goal. So that will be goal number two for the yellow team. Yeah. That would make it two to zero. And that's what we're just talking about. You see those yellow fast breaks just going to make it a fast break score at one point. So it's still one. That was no good. The goal went out of bounds, outside the goal, and then went in through the goal. So it'll be no good, no good from the ref. But you gotta say, I mean, as I said earlier, the fast break scores are really just gonna demonize the green team right there. As long as yellow keeps at um, attacking with fast breaks, eventually, again, you're gonna get a score, and they got really close. Yeah. And so now number nine, who has been aggressive for this yellow team, is going to kick it and Whoa, he'll be knocked down, down hard. By the green team, number 57 there. And so now number 51, the previous green team goalie, is pretty aggressive here. Maybe he will be the difference maker for this green team. Yeah, I mean, he's just the goalie, but coming in as an offender, he could definitely be doing something. So now the yellow team will have the ball, and it'll be kicked deep. And number nine will have it. Middle miscommunication there by number nine and 31 of the yellow team. And so now number nine with really amazing footwork. And so number nine again with the ball. Nice footwork there, but the green team will take advantage and take the ball. But again, number nine there to stop them and... I think it's yeah, thir number 31, as you said before, really uh, a, show for, a show of force for the yellow team. Just helping, I think he took the shot that almost scored a goal right there. Yes. So it'll be yellow team's ball. The inbound kick is over the heads, over some heads of the green team. And number 56 will have the ball and he'll miss the kick. And and so now number 51's got the ball. And as we said, number 51 something. could definitely be a force for green team. And it looks like we may be right. We still have yet to see a lot of action from him. And here's the fast so break. Now he's scared number of. nine. Oh. And no goal. Oh. That was close. Extremely close. And again, fast break score is extremely dangerous. Number, I believe number nine got away with the ball and he could have scored almost. Quick feet there. Very fast on that draw. Uh, number nine was that potentially could have been another goal for the yellow team putting them up by two with 16 minutes and 20 seconds left in the second half the yellow team is still up by one and number 51 kicks it deep and kicks it right to the yellow team goalie and i think as we get go on yellow team just gets better and better with their fast breaks and you know i think there has been some communication between the number 51 and number 45, both of them working nice, nicely together, kind of like a dyma dynamic duo, if you will, both both of them being very aggressive. Definitely. I really think that they're just bouncing it back and forth, and that's allowing them to get um, really good footwork. So it'll be the yellow team's ball and as got number, number 45 44. will come out. 41 for the green team is their goalie. Standing in a little bit unorthodox position right there st on the uh, edge of the post. Definitely something that might allow for a goal. And so, number 37. Right number 51. And, as and again, said before, there he is. Force for the green But number team. nine there to stop him, so it'll be green ball still. But I think never, number 51 is really showing himself. You know, he was the goalie. He's coming out as a really strong player for the green team. He may be able to lead this for a goal. Definitely. And so, a lot of aggressiveness, 15 minutes left, yellow team still up. A lot of aggressiveness there on the court between both teams. 
Really showing you how much this team wants to win. So the yellow will kick it right to number 57 of the green team, and it'll be yellow's ball again, and it's going to go out of bounds. This game being brought to you by MC Sports and sponsored by Pachi's Pizza. So number 31, a nice kick. Uh, yeah. That was a very nice kick. That could have been, that could have potentially been a setup for uh, number 37 there who could have, um, I, I think she could have kicked that right in for a goal. Nice kick there by number 31, a potential setup for the yellow team to Honestly, score Honestly, I think goal. we're giving a little bit of uh, too much merit here to the yellow team. They just keep able to get it to the goal, but they're just not able to get it in the goal. And getting it to right. the goal and in the goal is just two totally different things. And we want to really see the, uh, both teams honestly just deliver all their might and try to score and get the win. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so the kick is going to be uh, a nice attempt to save the ball there by number nine, who has been so aggressive for the yellow team. Big part of this yellow team. So now, the yellow team again will get the ball. Green team trying to do something with it. And there is some more. Uh, and yeah, number 51 once again breaking away with the ball, showing his skill. And so now he'll, he'll get the ball again, and he'll kick it deep. But then again, there's number nine who will kick it out of bounds. There is a lot more fatigue um, coming from the green team. More, uh, they are getting tired, and if they're tired this early on, um, we're almost halfway through this through this half. And if they're already tired, it's not going to be a good it's not going to be a good rest of the half for the green team. Definitely, I really, yeah, I think that it's really more the yellow team got the energy. They got the footwork. It's all about just green trying to get um, a surprise on them, surprise them with some moves or whatever, which will give them the ability to get to the goal and shoot score. Yes, and so now I say yellow, fast break once uh, again. Another attempt at a fast break for the yellow team. Score still one to nothing. The yellow team is up in this one. And if you were, and if you are just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, you missed quite the first half. As the kick is missed by the yellow team. We saw some extreme action from the yellow team. They're over to score, so the score once again is one yellow, green zero. And now we're in the second half with uh, 11, uh, 12 minutes left. Yep, this one coming to a close soon. And this one has been pretty fast and furious uh, from... Ever since the yellow team has scored, the green team has been more aggressive with the ball, and they haven't allowed uh, another score. What a good fast break right there! Number 39 showing him what he knows, no, no, showing what he knows. And so good footwork there by number 55. So now number 31 caught up in a scramble. The ball will be kicked out of bounds, and it will be Green's ball. After in the after the first half, where one of the uh, yellow players got injured, I think that gave the yellow team a, f a really furious charge, and they just used that, and they benefited right off and scored. Definitely, and if, and you can see in your top, well, you saw in your top right hand corner, top left hand corner, the scoreboard on your screen. The score is one nothing. The yellow team is up with 10 minutes, 45 seconds left, as you saw in your left-hand corner. So now the yellow team will get it again. Uh, definitely. You see, uh, just yellow team so f like, just so aggressive. As I said before this began, that was almost... Really close. Almost 2-0. Once again, with this fast break scoring, it's an amazing method that the yellow team's just been focused on completely, and that's led them to... Uh, most likely win the game. Definitely. So now number 41, the new green goalie, is going to kick it. And it'll be stopped. And number nine. Once again. Will kick oh! it! Right there. Go! Oh! Absolutely 
and that's what we're saying. Fast break score now. It's 2 0 and for the so yellow team. What a perfect to. setup by number nine. He was going for the goal, but then you saw another green team member come and stop it. But in the but in the end, number 55 came in for the assist and kicked it right in. Scores 2 to. Two to nothing. The yellow team is up, and this is what we were saying: the fatigue, the tired, the tiredness of this green team it was really going to affect how they play, and it proved right there as the yellow team scored yet again. Absolutely, I think the dynamic duo. For the and yellow there's a goal! Goal! Not we thought this game was over. And it's the not. green team. Green finally, 57 I believe, finally get, um, gets the ball in the goal for making it 1-2. to two. Yellow team is now in the lead with 9 minutes left. And we talked about how number 57 was just one of the players who was really going to show out and step up for this green team. So an amazing play there by definitely, number 57. Definitely, is a little late. He definitely showed up and was able to do something. And talking about the yellow team all-stars, the dynamic duo, number 55 and number 9, really think is belting the ball back and forth between them. That's gonna That could lead to another score. Definitely. So now... Uh, an another one point difference as number oh, 51 number tries to take the ball. And so now the breakaway. Here it comes! Oh, and it was so close. What an amazing so stop close. there. What an ama that was amazing. Yellow Absolutely goalie. amazing stop there by goalie number 31. That Pop. was absolutely amazing, and what a close call it was there for the green team. The green team <laughs> almost got another goal, tying this game up. Well, and so now, yeah, but I mean, amazing play by the yellow goalie right in the corner of the goal. I think that's some of the best action we've seen all day long. Definitely. So it'll be green team's ball. So it'll be green team's ball, and it's two to one with seven minutes and 52 seconds left in the second half. This game is is it's getting good, and. You know, we talked about how oh, the fatigue would come into play as number Definitely. 39 tries to kick it, oh. but it's no good. I think that we were talking about and earlier. Number, yeah. We thought the game would be over. You know, yellow's up by 2 to 0. But I think the green's just not ready. Regardless of how tired they are, they're just not ready to quit and go down. So now the green team going to try and do something, maybe tie the game even as the ball and is kicked to number 9 and, oh, and stop. Save. And what a save. And not even a show, a show of emotion, just a nice forward kick there by number 41 for the green team. Uh, bit of confidence there. And so now the green team's going to have to try and stop it. So it'll be green team's ball. And will the green team be able to score again with just six minutes and 55 seconds left? I really do think the, the game. greens found some newfound energy after that one goal by number 57. They just decided, you know what, I think we can win this game. So let's try to win the game. A new form of life has just up spr sprung from the green team. So now it's up to the green team to work together and try to get that ball in a second time to tie this game up before the final buzzer. The yellow team has got the ball. So I mean, we've talked about the yellow team dynamic duo, 55 and nine, we've both seen them in action. And that'll be no good. So who do you think the dynamic duo for green is? We've seen the yellow dynamic duo, who are you really thinking we can see for the greens? Well, in the early on, I said that there was a dynamic duo on the green team with number 51 and number 45, passing the ball to each other, communicating, talking things out. But now, but now that number 45 is out on the bench, 57 and 51 really coming into play and doing something. So I now the ball to 57, right there as the score the is no good. But the attempted score comes up no good, comes up short. So now number 31, again as goalie, to number nine, number 39 for green, trying to do something with it, and 44, stopping it, oh, and he's go. all gonna it's go, gonna go he's gonna go! Oh, oh what an amazing oh. save! What an amazing save the there by number 31! Absolutely incredible. I thought Green was going to score on that it drive. From everyone, that is a perfect fast break, but it wasn't enough. 31 just jumped in and saved it. Definitely some of the best goalie action from him we've seen all day long. All day, and that was just amazing how number 44 helped helped out the Green team, number 51 and number 57, to get the ball and get into the fast break. Exactly. Just as Green is determined to win this, I think Yellow's also just as determined to hold on to their lead 2-1. to one. 
but now 57's got it. Trading, and so the ball will be saved by number 51, and it'll be picked up by number 41. We have now four minutes and 45 seconds left in the game. Anything can still ha really happen with this action we've been seeing. So number nine, trying to get the ball back, but it'll be Green's ball again. So number 57, gonna try and kick it. He'll kick it deep. Nice strong. And that's to number 44. Number uh, 51, 51 got it. A steal. This could be it. Oh! oh. And again, uh, and you saw a bit of frustration from number 51. He was. He was upset there. He almost had the goal, but number 31. He's just been amazing at his goalie position for his yellow team. Amazing job there defending. Actually, I think that like now the Greens are, I think really if the Greens want to do something now, they should have done it a little bit earlier because now time is taken down with four minutes left on the clock. It's going to be tricky a little bit, I think, to get back in the game. So it'll be Green's ball here. So now Green has been given chance after chance to do something. A little miscommunication between uh, 57 and 51. The score! Goal! Amazing job there by number 57. A straight up kick. All the way from the other side of the court, and that ties it. That See, ties it. Happen in the final minutes of the game, we have three minutes and 30 seconds left. The score is 2-2. Two, two. This is amazing. What an what a great way. What a oh no my 51 break. trying to break free. Absolutely we talked amazing about that new life there. springing from green and that's exactly what just happened. They from past half court they shot and then it's a goal. Tying it 2-2. And so now the game is even closer. The ball's gonna go out of bounds. This game really could go to anyone right now. And so it'll be Green's ball. So number 57 is going to try and kick the ball far. And number 44 wasn't there. But the goal by 57 was quite amazing. It was past the half court line. And they still got it into the goal. That was amazing. Definitely Just a strong amazing. foot. And so now and to number 51. 51. A little bit of miscommunication crashing into each other, but a good save by 51. Amazing save by 51. Wanted. So close. Ooh. And everyone will go down. Pretty much, it's dominoes right there. It's like five players hit the ground. And so now both teams, now is where they'll, that is where they'll get aggressive. And this is just gonna be an amazing end to this game. What's gonna happen? The ball stays in bounds and it'll be stopped by number 44, but she will be a little shooken up on the play. But Absolutely. number, but nevertheless, number 39 for the green, trying to do something with the ball. He takes it. And now so it'll be number. I think it's completely possible. I think now is really see with the one minute, 45 seconds left on the clock. I really think that now this is where the dynamic duos that we discussed earlier are going to shine. So they're going to show their true potential and and so it'll be the maybe. yellow team's ball. And you are absolutely right. Number 51 goes down trying to score again. But number 31 will bring the ball up. And this has been such an amazing game so far. Absolutely. And so number, number 57 number will is, stop it. Uh, there it is. That's that. And so it'll be Green's ball. And so again, number 57. You know, throughout Time the game, I've seen some amazing it. sportsmanship from both players, you know, congratulating each player for scoring a goal. There's been no... An amazing stop there by number 36. And so it'll be kicked. And so the yellow team will have the ball with one minute left. Clock's ticking down. Getting closer and closer to the end. Who will have the upper hand? Or will this thing be tied? Let's see. Now we're down to less than a ball. minute. Yellow, oh man, he's number 39. The One kick, a nice, it's a a nice kick. stop there by Green. Can't let anything strong. happen. Number Can't allow a fast break. Break. Here we go. Definitely stopped right at halftime. So now number, it'll be Yellow's ball. Oh man! Uh oh! Going with the stop, and the goalie's just gonna come in there. To 
And that'll be the end of it. What a game. We've seen some amazing what plays today. What a here. game. At the end of this one, the score is 2-2. Two to two. Score being 2-2. Two to two. The green team comes the green team comes back comes back with with heart passion and drive comes back and ties this game and you know great job by both teams by the yellow team and by the green team we'll see you next time i'm judge and this is avi we'll see you next time on mc sports